do you have to be historically accurate when you're doing Viking reenactment? And who should be allowed to reenact the Viking Age? Okay, so let me just start off by saying that these are my personal opinions, so feel free to agree or disagree with me as much as you like. So if we're going to talk about historical accuracy, we first have to like define what we mean with that term. So being historically accurate is honestly not really possible, but for me when I use the term I mean like historically possible, probable. There is another term that I prefer which is find-based reenactment, which is when you take the archaeological evidence that you have, the finds and also like the written descriptions that are from the era and use those to base your garments and techniques and food and everything on. So find-based reenactment might be a better word. So do you have to be historically accurate or do find-based reenactment? Well, to be honest, from my point of view, that would depend on like where you want to do your reenactment. So there are some events that have really high like standards on historical accuracy. They might have like a guide of what kind of clothes and items you can bring to the event and they may not allow any modern like things to be on display when you're doing the reenactment and if you're going to go to an event of that kind you need to respect those rules so if i want to go to like a, a high demand event i need to accept that there are rules that they have like set in place for people who want to do that kind of reenactment and who wants to like be really immersed in like the time travel feeling then I have to respect the rules and I need to abide by them so then it's really up to me to adapt to the rules set in place. There are other events that don't have any demands on being historically accurate or fine based and then I think it's very important for people to acknowledge that everyone is welcome just the way they want to go. If they want to wear fantasy viking outfits then fine because that event doesn't have any demands on being historically accurate or being fine based if you want to go to that kind of event wear whatever you like whatever you feel comfortable with the only thing to me that's important is that if people want to go to an event that has like rules for being historically accurate then you need to accept that those people think that this is something they want to do they like it so you know don't give them a hard time for wanting to be as accurate as possible. And likewise, if people want to go to an event that doesn't have any rules for what you are allowed to wear, etc., then that's what they want to do and don't give them a hard time for it. I guess what I'm saying is, like, let people have nice things, let people have fun and do what they want to do. There are, like, different stages to a person's development and in reenactment some people like myself start off with you know kind of like a fantasy based medieval viking-ish reenactment outfit and think that they're having fun and making new friends and you know that's a good place to start if you want to do reenactment and then perhaps over time they might want to be more find based and learn more about you know what the garments and items really looked like and how they really worked but not everyone wants to do that and I think it should be entirely up to them so don't rain on anybody else's parade I guess there's another aspect of like the whole fantasy versus historically accurate thing um, that I just want to mention since I'm a teacher and also really a history nerd, I feel that it is important to be honest with people if, like, regarding if you're doing fantasy or if you're trying to be find-based. So I feel it's important not to 
claim to be accurate if you know that you are not. Um, and I understand that, you know, as I said in the beginning, we cannot really be historically accurate in that sense because there's always going to be some things that we do not know and cannot recreate entirely. So it, it's impossible to be 100% historically accurate, but if you know that you're doing like fantasy based reenactment or like Viking inspired reenactment, then I think that if like people come up to you and ask you about your garments or, or things um, that you should be honest about, like if they are fine based or not. I try to like explain to people how I have reconstructed my garments when they ask me about it. So say for instance that someone wanted to know about my coat. Um, we do not have a complete coat um, in the in the finds so therefore I will have to explain what did I base this garment on and what do we know and what don't we know so that they can then figure out for themselves if they think that this is a plausible reconstruction. So I guess just try to be as clear as you can with what you based your garments on and what you do know and what you don't know. Now to the second question. Who should be allowed to reenact the Viking Age? The reason I am bringing this up is because a person asked me that question not too long ago uh, in a comment and I just want to put it out there that I think that everyone should be welcome in Viking reenactment. Um, I don't care what part of the world you're from or you know if you want to do historically accurate or if you want to do like fan fantasy Viking. If you like want to come and have fun and you know hang out with people with the same kind of interest as you, be my guest. I'll be more than happy to have you. The only people I do not want in Viking reenactment are white supremacists or, you know, people who will use my culture or like Norse culture as an excuse to be mean to other people or discriminate against other people. So yeah, if you're a person like that, then F off and I don't want to talk to you. But apart from that, please feel welcome to come and join the fun. Well, I think I've been rambling enough now, so do you agree or disagree with me? Um, we could have a healthy discussion in the comments if you'd like. So yeah, if you're interested in Viking reenactment or, you know, Viking Age in general, just uh, come join the fun, I guess, and uh, have a nice day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.